I want to talk about the sound that soft pads or hard pads make when you close them against a tone hole. Now imagine this is a saxophone tone hole. People like to hear this big loud thunk. Okay, you're hearing that sound because my hand is soft and the skin is flexing back and forth like the skin on a drum head. It's making that big deep resonant thunking sound. Now, if you take a harder piece of rubber and glue it directly to a piece of plastic like this, it doesn't make that big loud thunk. It's a harder, empty sound. Now, what's happening is the skin is not pumping in and out. It's staying glued to the plastic surface. The problem with a soft pad is that when you have it closed against a tone hole, the skin and the cushion move back and forth with the resonance of the note that you're blowing. So it's actually changing volume in the tone hole and that change is the same as if air was leaking in and out of the tone hole edge. It ruins the tone, it dampens the sound. Now if you have a harder pad that doesn't flex as much, the skin and the cushion don't move, all the energy is put into moving the air column back and forth in the sacks. You get better tone, better sound production. Everybody wants better tone and a resonant sax, but you don't want noisy pads. So you've got to find a compromise. Good tone with pads that aren't too noisy. What's more important to you? The resonance of your sax? Or the sound of closing pads?